Well, now we want to turn to the nail biter of a race for Harris County Judge, Lena Hidalgo winning re-election. ABC 13's Charlie Etzidi live with what her opponent has to say this morning. Good morning, Charlie. Hey, good morning to you, Melanie. We're live from the West Gray polling location here. Obviously, it looks so much different from just 24 hours ago when we came out to you live yesterday. So many voters out here casting their ballots, but now really the only remnants of this election left are just all the signs, which of course have to get cleaned up. But we now know the outcome of the race for Harris County Judge. Uh, Alexander Mueller conceded to Judge Lena Hidalgo just a short time ago. And so right now we do want to get to the statement that was put out by Mueller. Uh, it says, quote, while we did not accomplish our goal of changing leadership in Harris County, we were successful in elevating the profile of critical issues like the need to appropriately resource our law enforcement and criminal justice system, as well as the desire to eliminate corruption and increase transparency in local government. Now, as for Judge Hidalgo, we're told she will be speaking to the media this afternoon. And of course, ABC 13 will be there. And this race, by the way, was incredibly close. I mean, we were covering it all night long within just a couple thousand votes of each other. That's all that separated uh, Mueller and Hidalgo. And overnight, we also learned Governor Greg Abbott was reelected for the third time by Texas voters. Abbott received 55 percent of the vote. Opponent Beto O'Rourke received 44 percent. Abbott's campaign team held a press conference this morning and confirmed that O'Rourke did call the governor last night to concede. No other details on what exactly was said during that phone call. But according to Abbott's campaign, they say that they were anticipating a much higher turnout for Democratic voters and that when these numbers started to come in, they were surprised because they were thinking there were going to be a whole lot more Democrats getting out to vote. And it turns out that they were wrong. And so one question coming from a reporter during this press conference was a potential presidential run for Governor Greg Abbott. And all the campaign people would say was that it hasn't been brought up by the governor at this point. So they left it at that. But Melanie, uh, obviously, uh, everybody uh, just, uh, you know, looking for the results of what's left of these races and probably uh, maybe happy to see all these signs starting to come down. I'm going to toss it back to you. Charlie at City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Uh